click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russ here. Welcome back to another great chemistry video. And today we're going to talk about hybridization, specifically of this molecule right here. Let's get into it. For the following, draw all orbitals involved in bonding and the ones that contain lone pairs. There's no lone pairs here, so the lone pair part is not applicable. That is SP, that is SP. The carbons are involved in triple bonds or alenes. This is an alkyne. Alenes are something different. They also have SP carbons. So the carbons have two pi bonds each. So we have to draw them. Here's how we do it. Let's, uh, there we go. Carbon, and let's put a blue carbon over here. Now they're going to be sigma bonded together. So there's, oh, sorry, let me change that color. Here's one sigma bond, and here's another. So I'm trying to make this drawing a little bit big, and you're going to see why in a moment. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on. I want there to be lots of room to see stuff. And the other SP is over here, and that's going to have the hydrogen in it. Now, I know this looks like two p orbitals coming head to head. It's not. This is one sp orbital. This is a second sp orbital. It is not one p orbital. Okay? I know it looks that way because the way it's drawn. But remember, this is one orbital. This is a different orbital. This is a different orbital. This is a different orbital. So there's really four orbitals drawn here, not two. Okay? This is not a p orbital. What I'm going to draw next, however, is a p orbital. So there's a p orbital. And there's another one. And they are overlapping. So this is starting to look like a double bond, what we would have drawn so far for a double bond. Let me label my sigmas. This is sigma, sigma, and that's a sigma bond over there. Now we have to draw in the second p orbital. And this is where students get a little bit weird about it because it looks weird. It's not that bad, though, trust me. So there's going to be a p orbital that's coming out this way. Now I'm drawing it nice and heavy because it's coming towards me. And I'm drawing this one as a dash because it's going back away from me. Now I don't expect anyone in my class, and I'm sure your professors don't either, to be Picasso or Rembrandt or some amazing artist. Just get the point across. Just draw it neat enough. You may have to practice it a few times to get the point across. Get the point across that we understand, that you understand. Okay, so there's your pi bond. Now, we need to know the bond angles. From SP to SP, from here to here, obviously that's 180 degrees, it's linear. From P orbital to P orbital, so from the purple one to the green one, let's say, that's 90. And say from the sp to the p orbital is also 90 degrees. Now, I get it, guys. This is a lot going on. Now, I've labeled a lot of things in here, too. You don't have to label quite so much unless the question asks you to. But do these a couple times by yourself. Make sure you command this kind of stuff because it is really important going forward that you understand how bonding works so you can understand how reactivity works. It makes life a little easier down the road, okay? So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If it was helpful, go ahead and slap that like button and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know how I can help you with whatever organic chemistry problems you're working with. And if you would, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It really does help all YouTube creators out when people subscribe to their channels, including myself. So I really would appreciate that. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.